Okay, so this is a spotted black snake. And what's happened is I've received a call out from a member of public who has found it trapped in their shed on one of these mice sticky papers. I'm not even going to go there about how cruel and horrible these these papers are. It's just, as you can see, this guy's well and truly stuck. So going to uh, remove him. So all I've got here is some olive oil. So I'm just putting the oil on the tape where the snake isn't already attached and where it actually is attached. Well, he does have a little bit of movement in his head there, but his head is actually mainly stuck down. So what I'm going to try and do is work the oil underneath underneath the skin and the scales. So you can see that it's already trying to make some moves on its own, which is good. It's actually getting a fair bit of stuff off itself. So I could actually just leave it to its own devices and it probably would get itself off, but it would take some time and a lot of energy so I'm just trying to give a bit of a helping hand. You can see that mouth moving there, it's horrible. So I just want to start at the non-bitey end first. All I'm basically doing is just moving the snake a little bit so that it encourages it to move and the oil is getting underneath the snake in between the scales and the glue. So I started out with a spoon because I could get a lot closer but that mouth was moving a bit. So, all right, so we've got that tail bit free. It's important that everyone involved, the snake and the human, has to be safe. So, so all I'm sort of doing is pushing Getting that oil underneath. So we can free this little guy. Because this isn't nice. Alright. So I'm not actually scraping on the scales, I'm just scraping next to the scales. Try and work that oil in against the glue. We want to do as little damage as we can. Poor snake. And that oil's really really helps the glue. I'm, I'm sorry the video footage isn't that fantastic. I'm on my own doing this, so sort of trying to concentrate on what I'm doing and keeping myself safe, while at the same time showing you what's going on. Please don't use these traps. You know, it might be great for getting rid of rodents or whatever, but this is just so inhumane. It's so not fair. We've got definitely got more movement over in the head here now. All right, we're sort of a bit loose. So I do have a lid for this container nearby. So once the oil is done what it's supposed to do and release this guy, I can pop the lid on, get myself safe. Because obviously this snake's not really happy right now. striking or anything so it seems to know that I'm here to assist. We're mostly off. So 
Let's get that glue under there. So you don't want to use too much oil because then you, you're not going to... Because remember this has to come off the snake before the snake is released. So, okay, and we're completely free. So I'll just try and keep the snake in there. Go this. And down you go, darling. This, sorry, I'm not showing you. This removed. Alright, so I'm gonna pop the lid on for now and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, what I've done off camera now is just taken the snake out of here and popped it in here. On the bottom of this clean tub, I have got uh, blueies, which is like a, a medical absorbency thing, and uh, some paper towels. So it will be able to get work itself through that and get some of the oil off. So I'm gonna let it chill now and get some of that oil off by itself. And it can finally relax after the ordeal it's been through. And I will be back shortly to show you the outcome. Okay, so this guy's had a couple of hours of getting all the oil off. So this is the... I had him in just a couple of medical blueies. And some paper cloths. So we're releasing now. That was a cow. <laughs> and off it goes. So a nice rescue. Thanks to everyone for watching and please don't forget that if you don't have any experience with this don't just go trying it these snakes are venomous and it's if you don't have any idea what you're doing it's quite dangerous so just keep that in mind just wanted to share because this is just those traps are inhumane they need to be need to be banned but luckily this guy was found and was able to get some help and be relocated. Awesome. All right, thanks for watching.